Welcome to October's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is bag of tokens. You have an initial power of P and an initial score of zero. And a bag of tokens, where tokens I is the value of the ith token. So we have these tokens and they have some sort of value. Now our goal is to maximize our total score by potentially playing each token in one of two ways. Um, if your current power that we have is at least the value of tokens I, you may play that token, so I guess pop it off or use it somehow, um, and you would lose that amount of token value from your power, but you would gain one score. Now, if your current score is at least one, but I suppose if you can't play any tokens, then you may play the token, um, gaining that token's power into your power source, but losing one score. Now, the goal is to maximize our score, right? So you'd only do that if you don't have any other option. So you can play any token at most once and in any order. So that's kind of big there. Uh, if we had this example, if we had power 150, 100, 200, then we would obviously, uh, we only have one option to eat this token. We would lose, so we only have 50 power left, and that would be it. We can only eat that token. We can gain this power if we wanted, um, having us 250, but then there's no other tokens to play, so our output would be zero. Here, what we would do is first play our 100. We'd have a power of 100 left. Then, since we only have 100, what we would do is gain the power of 400, giving us power 500, and then eat these two tokens, two and three, ending up with a score of two. So there's this temptation, again, to try to go recursively. All right, all we need to do is find every path and every possible combination that could happen, but you gotta resist that because the optimal algorithm is already here. All we need to do is, if we could use a token and gain a score, do that. Okay, and we would do that if we have power, right? And we should probably look at the smallest amount first because that's gonna be the least penalty to gain that score. It's only when we can't do that anymore that we would look to the maximum token that we have to lose one score but to gain that power and hopefully be able to score more points um, yeah, in this path. So we would have to store a max score in case we go um, positive and then we lose some score and we lose that value. Um, but that makes it important since we could use this in any order to sort our tokens, right? So that's the very first thing we wanna do. Let's sort our tokens. And in fact, I'm gonna actually use a Q here sorted tokens, and I'm going to make this a DQ. Okay, so now that we have this Q and it's all sorted, we have our power and we want to store our score. And I guess I can call this current, think of that as current score, and we'll have also the max score. And we can start off with zero. So while there's a Q, what do we want to do? Well, if we have enough power, and the power is greater or equal to the very first item on our queue, which is gonna be the smallest, um, we wanna use it, right? So we want to pop that off from the left, and uh, we would have to subtract from our power whatever this t value of t is, but we would increase our score by one, and we would also store the max score in case we ever went lower here. Uh, so say max score, was max of score and max score. Now, otherwise, if we can't do this, say that um, we don't have enough power to pop off the, the smallest one, we know that we want to try to gain some power, right? But we need to have that condition that score has to be greater than zero. So that's something to keep note of. And if it is, then, hey, pop off that one on the very right and add this to our power. But we have to decrease our score here. But we don't need to touch our max score because that's gonna be stored there. Now, otherwise, if we aren't able to do any of this, we actually just need to break this loop because uh, say that there's one left, but we don't have enough power for it. Well, we don't wanna get into this infinite loop, right? So we have to break out somehow. And finally, we just return that max score, not the score, but the max score. So let's go and submit that. Probably should have tested it first, but I was pretty confident that would work. So 
There we go, it's accepted. So there's variations of this. You could use two pointers. You don't have to have a Q like I did. Uh, I just kind of felt like doing it. And really, yeah, I think that's going to be an O of N solution. Right? Yep, definitely O of N. Yeah, but we do use some extra space with our Q here. So I suppose you, having the two pointers will be less space. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.